Hello there. So you may remember last week I built this awesome pyramid over well, over three weeks. It must have been of all of the different scenes from Bad Batch. What I wish happened, what actually happened and what might still happen, especially with Tex Return. Now, I also built a similar pyramid of iconic movie scenes, not just Star Wars, Harry Potter, Marvel and a few other iconic movies sprinkled throughout and that had an extra four designs to it. And that was sort of the tester for what I do, Bad Batch, going forward. Whether I build another four of these, it couldn't support its own weight. And on top of that, they were 8x8 modular scenes. Whereas this is 10x10. These are even bigger. So if that couldn't support itself, there is no chance of me getting even one extra scene on top of this. I guess I could always just build it lengthways and hope that it holds itself. But any more weight on this... It's going to topple over, so there are no more scenes for this. I'm going to showcase it again towards the end of Bad Batch, perhaps the week after the finale. Stick around, and of course, do like the video if you're enjoying these Bad Batch mocks so far. Subscribe for more awesome content for all the other shows that are yet to come. And you can actually check out all of these right now in a playlist I'll leave on the end screen. But if you have missed them, and don't fancy going back watching the videos, there will be a showcase at some point once I've finished building them. Perhaps I'll build one more after the finale and then the week after there'll be another. But today we're going to be building a micro fighter. Now I had the choice of three ships initially. Let me put this down. So initially I had the choice of three ships. I'm looking at them right now. Fee's starship, which honestly out of the three is the most unique. And spoiler alert, that's the one that I built for today's video. But I also had Echo's Remora as a micro fighter. Started building it, it looked a lot like the Tantive with a few missing engines, so I decided that probably wasn't the best. And there was also the CX Dagger Vessel, which honestly looks really awesome. We need that as a Lego set. Lego, please give us the Dagger Vessel. But at the same time, that does look like the Skimitar, so I might pick up the Skimitar and try and mock it into a Dagger Vessel. I think that's going to look awesome, especially because we've already got a similar outfit for the CX, the Clone Assassins. We've seen three of them so far. I'm sure there's more to come. Something to do with the program Crosshair was on, and Crosshair's original Empire uniform looks very, very close to their uniform. So I think they've got some Crosshair jeans in them. But anyway, that's a theory for another time, because today we are building Fee's Starship, and of course... You can't have Fee Starship without Fee herself. So first off, we're going to build the custom minifigure and then start taking a look at the microfighter to go along with. Of course, I've already got an Echo, which is an official Lego figure. The CX, as I've said, could be created from Crosshair. I've done that for a previous mock. So it's nice to get a brand new custom minifigure, especially after just recently building Emery. And as I said, we are building the minifigure for the first who is wearing jeans. So the first minifigure we're actually going to use, broaden our horizons a little bit, are these legs from this robot from Lego Movie. Is it the first one? I'm pretty sure this is from the first one. And you can get away with using any dark blue legs. But I also really like the belt on these jeans. So I'm going to take this leg piece for this robot. We are also creating a purist custom. So there are no extra printed arms or anything for this minifigure. But Fee does wear a brown jacket. And honestly, even watching the Bad Batch, it reminds me of Poe Dameron's jacket. And the white shirt underneath would look better. But since I don't actually have a proper Poe Dameron and I just have a custom one created using this fin torso, I thought I'd take the torso from the minifigure itself. So we've got the jeans, we've also now got the jacket which we're going on top. And I am keeping Finn's hands to be some sort of brown leather gloves, which I do see Fee wearing in some of her heists, especially because she's more of an archaeologist and somewhat treasures the value of ancient items so i am going to keep the hands as the gloves and remove finn's head because for the headpiece i'm pretty sure this is from a trooper of some sorts but i use it for my custom mandalorian cosca reeves is it i always forget the names i think it's cosca reeves who was with bo-katan and axe woves in the mandalorian but this is just some sort of stormtrooper head. You know what? This might actually be the Inferno Squadron leader, Iden Versio. So 
It's definitely a stormtrooper. It might be a named stormtrooper, but this is the head that we're using. And as you can see, when this goes on, the only thing we're missing is a hairpiece. Now, I think there is a semi-perfect hairpiece, and I'm not sure if it's currently on the Builder minifigure, but it was at Christmas as I have this very happy brick minifigure. And as you can see by the hair, it's got the hairband round on it. It's the closest one that I can think of. It's by no means the perfect, but it's definitely as close as I think Lego can get. So we'll whack that hair piece on fee, and I do think it's quite a nice minifigure. But of course, this video isn't just about creating the custom minifigure, but it's mainly about the microfighter that goes with it. So for now, fee can be resting in the back there. Hopefully you've seen it. Perhaps we could take one close look before we put it down. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And personally, I like this a lot more than my Emery one last week. So let me know what you think about the minifigure down in the comments below. And now it's time for the microfighter. I don't think we get a name for Fee's ship, but as you can see, it's quite a decent microfighter. I think it'd make for a nice microfighter. There's a few play features that I think Lego could capitalize on here. First off, this ramp. After looking at some of the reviews for the Batman Skyline, which honestly, amazing set. I'd love to get my hands on it, but perhaps not for that price tag. We can definitely get a little interior printed in here, or even just a sticker, because some people might not want that printing, so we could get a sticker in there of an interior. And of course, we've got the ramp where she recently rescued them in last week's episode from the turbo tank that was pretty much doomed to not make it out of that episode. We've also got, because it's some sort of cargo liner, we've also got some clips on the bottom here, which definitely can attach to a cargo crate of some sort. I'm not sure if we've seen it used yet. I'm not sure if we'll even see it used, but because there is that feature on the actual ship, it's definitely something Lego could use to just clip a, even just a two by four brick. That would go all the way to this under tull on the back here, which is just adding a bit of extra support. And as you can see, I've recreated the back of the ship to look like an Imperial Lambda class shuttle because it does in the show. It looks so much like it. I'll whack an extra picture up on the side just to, so you can see if you haven't realized, definitely take some inspiration from the Lambda class when they were designing it. But not only does it have the ramp and also the ability to hold its cargo and a few different fancy bricks that are connected on the back in fact that one's even got a crack i didn't notice that i'll have to add that to my broken pieces afterwards but of course it's not a micro fighter if we can't fit the minifigure in so fee does sit just at the front here where she would be piloting it and perhaps it's not as cozy or as usual as a spot that most of the micro fighters has but this ship sort of reminds me of the ghost that they did i think there are a few variations of the ghost that might have been an exclusive which is why i don't really remember it as well but this would be an amazing set to come out and as i say just for that bonus minifigure, it's probably what they could have even done with the hangar owner in the mandalorian i am sorry i forget her name but even that minifigure, Peli Motto, it's crazy how many names you can remember when you're looking at the actual minifigure themselves. But we definitely could have got Peli Motto in the N1 as she was looking after it. But for certain minifigures, especially ones that aren't well known, they're not going to sell as well unless you put them in a bigger set. Perhaps include a Crosshair, a new Omega, and have a bigger version of the ship release. So I fully understand Lego's marketing, but from a collector's point of view... It definitely would be nice to get some rarer figures in cheaper sets. And if you are interested, I don't think I've shown this off. I might have said it as an offhand comment, but I am using Star Lord's torso and legs from the advent calendar two years ago for my Pelimoto jumpsuit. But I'm a big fan of all of these Bad Batch mocks, and I realized there was a microfighter in the Ahsoka series I did as well. Again, all of them mocks for Ahsoka and Bad Batch are in two separate playlists, which I'll probably leave the pair of them on the end screen. So you can check them out if you did miss the Ahsoka ones, because I know so many of you weren't watching my videos at the time and might not even know such content exists. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do drop a like if you do enjoy this series and want to see more weekly builds for certain shows. As Bad Batch somewhat overlaps with Tales of the Empire, 
I'll probably do a one-off video for that, but definitely when Acolyte comes around, I'd love to do some more LEGO Star Wars mocks. So drop a like if you did enjoy it, subscribe for more awesome LEGO content, and may the bricks be with you always.